Hey, good day everyone. Tase Baller here. This is the third game that we have for today. February 8, 2024 NBA Game Day. This is, the, this is an Eastern Conference matchup between Cleveland Cavaliers and Brooklyn Nets. And this one will actually start at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. And I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. In approaching this game, Cleveland Cavaliers, they have a record of 33 wins and 16 losses. While for Brooklyn Nets, they have a record of 20 wins and 30. We all know that we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel. But for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, you guys might want to reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger account. Just go ahead and take a look at the descriptions of our videos and you would see the details right there. By the way, the spread that is given, let me go ahead and just uh, check it out if it's still the same. <clears throat> the spread that is given is at minus 6 and that's actually given towards Cleveland Cavaliers. And Brooklyn Nets, they will have the home court advantage on this. In terms of momentum though, that's quite obvious. We got to give it to Cleveland Cavaliers approaching this game. They are on a 7 game uh, a seven game winning streak and not only that for their last 10 games they have actually won nine if you take a look at Brooklyn Nets um, they are uh, they are in the struggle um, they are on back-to-back -back losses approaching this game and for their last 10 games they have only won four times in terms of fatigue Brooklyn Nets would also have the advantage because Cleveland Cavaliers actually had their game last night against Washington Wizards and let's take a look at the health and availability for both teams <clears throat> Starting with Brooklyn Nets, uh, man, this is going to hurt, and this is what's really causing, um, you know, causing the um, the problems and the challenges for Brooklyn Nets. The Reek Whitehead, uh, uh, Sharp, Cam Johnson, uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, and Lonnie Walker, all listed in um, their IL, all confirmed out for this particular game. That's a total of five players for Brooklyn Nets. Now for Cleveland Cavaliers, there's only one uh, person out because of uh, injury, and that's Ty Jerome. And Tristan Thompson is also not available because of some in because of some suspension. So um, obviously, Cleveland Cavaliers would have the um, advantage in terms of health and availability. All right, uh, this one's gonna be tough, you know, because obviously, Cleveland Cavaliers they got momentum. Cleveland Cavaliers they do have. They do have the roster. They do have the lineup to actually, uh, you know, blow a uh, uh, blow out um, any team in the league right now. They are they are on fire. I'm talking about Cleveland Cavaliers, um, but then again, we got to consider um, all those factors that are going on every day or you know the day prior. And I'm talking about Cleveland Cavaliers going back to back games in back to back nights. Now, if you'd also take a look at uh, the minutes that were logged by uh, Cleveland's uh, stars. I'm talking about Donovan Mitchell. I'm talking about Allen. Both players actually played 37 plus minutes last night. And that's, you know, that's not few, if you know what I mean, you know. Um, going back to back, I'm pretty sure that sometime in the second quarter or perhaps in the second half, uh, fatigue will actually kick in for Cleveland Cavaliers. Now for Brooklyn Nets, I gotta be, you know, I gotta be fair. I gotta... I gotta be fair to them. Um, despite of them losing their losing back-to-back -back, uh, games, approaching this game, they have been you know they have been uh, competitive for the past you know past couple of weeks or so. Um, they lost against Golden State Warriors, but man, you know it was tight until you know until towards end of third, right, or maybe even start of the fourth. So Brooklyn Nets, they are doing what they can. They are doing their best. It's just that you know they are being they are being affected and held back by the injuries that they are having. But in this particular matchup, Brooklyn Nets will be at home. Brooklyn Nets, um, they will be the well, uh, they will be well rested, going up against Cleveland Cavaliers, who again just played last night. Um, I'm thinking of uh, Brooklyn Nets being able to, uh, being able to actually um, keep it close, or at least uh, close in the sense that they would be able to cover the spread. Cleveland Cavaliers for sure will make, you know, uh, will make. All they will make sure that they would actually get the W, but I don't think that they would actually have the intent to actually blow this one out and, and you know and and do the do the usual against uh, you know against a weak team that you know that they've encountered uh, lately. Because again, Cleveland Cavaliers should be feeling 
some you know some sort of fatigue sometime in the second or third quarter. So I'm gonna go with Brooklyn Nets in here with a with a plus six in here. Um, I'm expecting Brooklyn Nets to actually hit you know more than 18 three point shots right here. Uh, Brooklyn Nets would love Brooklyn Nets love to hit three point shots. Um, and Cleveland Cavaliers they are a, they are a very good defensive team, but defending the three point the, the three point territory is sometimes their challenge. So again, my pick would be Brooklyn Nets plus six. Again, th that's Nets plus six. Peace out. Pass I love it.